Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's recon, we're going to take a look at Hidden Strike, American Revolution, designed by Maurice Suckling and Dorian Richard, published by Worthington. First off, I do want to thank Worthington for providing this copy for me to show off to you guys. But even more importantly, I want to thank all of you, the viewers who have been subscribing, liking my videos, and commenting on them. The channel has been growing by leaps and bounds lately, and it's all because of you guys. Literally, that's, that's the reason. So as you guys are engaged and you're commenting and you're subscribing, it makes me, you know, keep my passion up. It makes me want to make more videos, show off these games to you guys, and I just can't thank you guys enough. So, all right, on, <laughs> enough of that, right? Let's go ahead and dive in. So Hidden Strike American Revolution, um, Maurice Suckling, he did a fantastic um, solitaire game or solitaire capable game, I should say, because it does have a strong two-player element. It actually has a lot of hidden information for the two-player, but he was able to design an engine makes it work excellent solitaire. Um, Chancellorsville 19, <laughs> excuse me, Chancellorsville 1863, um, also by Worthington. That was a Civil War game, American Civil War game I really enjoyed. Um, I have a bunch of videos on that one. Check those out. But when I saw this one, now this video, this game just showed up. I actually didn't even really catch this one. It showed up from Worthington. And I said, wait a second, you know, first off, I'm recycling, you know, Worthington. So, you know, the components can be great. And I really don't have an American Revolution game, you know, that, that I play solitaire. It's probably one of the few conflicts that I have an interest in that I really don't have a go-to game for. You know, there's so many great games out there, so many great war games that have history, that have good mechanics. And I just don't know if I have been able to play one for the American Revolution. Now, doesn't mean there isn't other great games out there for the American Revolution. I just haven't really gotten a chance to play them, maybe. So maybe I should broaden my horizons and check them out, huh? So looking at the back of the box here. And by the way, I love the cover art. Love the cover. Nice heavy box. You see the back here, the board, cards, everything looks great on here. Five ways to play. <clears throat> Versus, co-op, trader, mastermind, and of course, solitaire. So game complexity is right in the middle there. Solitaire suitability is high. So very excited about that. Mounted game board, blocks, cards, battle archive, rule book. So let's go ahead and open her up. Yeah, you know, when I saw this, I was like, wait, what's what's this game? And I was like, I can't believe I somehow missed it. Even, you know, I do a decent job of keeping track of new games because it's kind of my thing, right? I have this channel, like I have to cover games. Like I like to cover the new games as they come out. That's obviously my thing, if you couldn't tell. Um, solitaire war games, right? Or solitaire playable war games. But I somehow kind of missed this one. I don't, I don't know. It happens, right? There's just so many great games coming out right now. It's, uh, it's hard to keep track of all of them. All right. Nice thick box, of course. Worthington. I'm sure the components would be fantastic. I'm sure. But no complaints about them. So the rules. Version 1.0 in the box here. Only, looks like, so 20 pages total. And that includes, you know, obviously the very last year's a rule summary page. Nice large font, full color. You can see, it looks like the different types of cubes here, tokens or cubes. I guess they're not just cubes, right? Because there's different shapes here. Description of the different forces, the cards, the abilities, troop strength. Oh, wow, look at all that. Look at all the, the different actual tokens, the wooden tokens, and see what their different strengths and the nationalities, you know, American regulars, American veterans, allies, Minutemen, you know, British, etc. Describing everything. Okay, Let's see what's a play. And you can see examples. Looks like examples are here in the highlighted boxes. Everything's broken up nice. Looks like it'd be nice and easy to read. Notes in yellow. Design notes in green. So I'm not going to go over and cover the rules here. We're going to try to learn the game. Looks like the actual rules will be something like 15, 16 pages. So not too bad at all. Actually, it looks like these may be covering just the actual cards. So the actual rules may be back here. Something like 11 pages for the actual rules. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I mean, that's why the complexity was rated as medium. So nothing too complex. Here's something Worthing has been doing lately. That you've been keeping track of... You have like um, sheets to fill out and you can keep track of how the game went, you know, how you won, maybe VP totals, anything that like. doesn't look like there's necessarily VPs in this game. I don't know. I haven't played the game, haven't read the rule book yet, but it's nice to get these sheets to keep track of it. Very cool. This is a nice little thing. Necessary? No. 
but nice little bit of chrome. All right, so there's the board, we'll save that. And of course, as we're uh, seeing with all of Worthington's newer releases, they have this nice um, actual like counter tray, well tray for all the components, a component tray with a plastic lid, fits nicely in the bottom. Take the lid off. Have some plastic baggies. We have all the different tokens, so a ton of different tokens here you can see. A little bit of different shapes. So some more like just regular cubes. So it looks like there's a couple like unique shapes in here maybe? Or was I mistaken? Oh, there are. So you can see, nice colors on them. Little wooden tokens, so. I know, I know guys, don't worry. It's not a Euro game, it's a war game. Don't worry. It's okay to have little wooden cubes and, and tokens, I swear. It won't change you, I swear. All right, let's open up some of these cards. Take a look at these. Actually, let me pause the video to open them up. All right, here are the different cards. Got them on the plastic. I wasn't gonna divide them by type, but there seems to be different kinds of cards. And because I haven't played the rules yet, or haven't played the game yet, haven't even read the rules, I don't know exactly what the different types are. I don't know exactly how to break it up. But there's cards like Mastermind, which then says, you know, George III. Only use a Mastermind mode, okay. You know, reserves here, a couple of reserve cards, British forces, you can go ahead and flip them around. You can see things like British fleet, reserve, troop reserve, event. Now, cards, fantastic quality as expected from Worthington. So these are, you know, poker size cards and pretty much uh, like playing card type quality, you know, beautiful rounded corners, nice and thick. There, the linen finish you can see on there. As I turn them just right, you can catch the linen finish with the light there. So just beautiful, high quality cards. It's really what you're getting in all of Worthington's new releases. So you really can't can't expect anything less at this point. So they better keep it up, right? That's what we expect. Oh, I'm teasing. All right, so beautiful cards. Like I said, the quality itself. But then if you look at them, they look easy to read. You're seeing, you know, a title, militia, troop. There's a blue cube there. A little bit of information on the bottom, crossing the Delaware. Militia, troop. Play one militia from its local force pool to its conflict zone. I don't know what that means in the context of the rules, but looking at, again, you can see American forces, Culpeper ring, or Culper ring, excuse me, event. And it's explaining everything, option one, option two. Very clear. You're getting historical photographs or artwork here. Well, artwork. <laughs> um, Canada, British control. Canada, American controlled, American controlled. Oh, watch out, Canadian friends. Um, so here we go. Like, a whole bunch of cards again. I don't, you know, I don't know exactly what they all do, what they mean, but we'll get them all figured out. We'll we'll play through the game for sure. We'll uh, we'll learn exactly what they are, and I'll explain them. I'm definitely have a good feeling already looking at this. I'm definitely gonna end up doing some sort of um, you know playthrough in an overview and review. Odds are definitely gonna do that. So, all right. Let's get this map here full mounted map as you can see nice beautiful the wrapped mounted so high quality course laid out here also it's like to be a little taller than it is wide so be a little harder on the camera here all right hopefully you guys can see that nicely should be able to good looking map very very easy to read so not a ton of detail in the background, right? Looking at the states, obviously we're looking at the Northeast here. Um, you know, New England here, Northern colonies, Mid-Atlantic, Southern colonies, you know, Maine up there, Canada, if we're worried about that. Um, you can see the holding boxes. Everything's very clear, easy to read. Like I said, not a ton of detail in the states behind it, but that's good because it does allow these boxes to pop. You know, you don't want to be too plain back here because you want to see some artwork. At least I do anyway, right? But you also want to be able to read the boxes, see everything clearly, especially when cubes are out here and you're moving cubes around in different colors. So looks good though. Again, without, I can't really explain how it works because I haven't played it yet. This is why it's a recon, right? This is our unboxing. We're just taking a look at the game. But it looks good. I mean, everything looks good anyway. I'm excited to check it out. Um, Maury Suckling, obviously, like I said, I really enjoyed his Chancellorsville uh, 1863. Really enjoyed that one. A couple videos out on that one. Um, I don't know who the co-designer, um, so it's Dorian Richard, I believe, correct? Dorian Richard, I don't know what they've done before, but I'm excited to see this one in action anyway. Definitely going to check it out more. 
Definitely going to take a look at other things. And uh, yeah, American Revolution Hidden Strike from Worthington. Let me know if you've played it. Let me know if you've taken a look at it already. What you think. Like it, don't like it, whatever. Share your thoughts. I'll definitely be sharing mine. So yeah, look forward to um, play at least a playthrough, probably a tutorial playthrough. We'll see. And an overview review coming eventually. But first, I got to get this baby played and see how it is. So until next time, guys. Later.